everybody, it's your girl Merle, and today we're gonna to be doing a fun little video. I'm going to be trying two different recipes for tofu pulled pork. Tofu pulled pork. Not to be confused with banana peel pulled pork or jackfruit pulled pork. It seems like a really nice accessible recipe for people that wanna have a delicious pulled pork sandwich. Now, I've never had a pulled pork sandwich made with tofu before, so I'm actually really excited. I love tofu. I'm always looking for other ways to use my tofu instead of just the same old recipes I do over and over and over, over again. again. I'm gonna test out a recipe by our dear friend Sauce Dash, and then I'm gonna try one by It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. I'll link both of their original videos or recipes down in the description below. But in the meantime, let's get right into this. Wait, maybe I can think of a tofu pun. Soy we get right into it. <laughs> Soy away we go. Oh my God, okay, I need to stop. If you have any tofu puns, please drop them. But wait, before we get into the video, I'd like to give a quick thanks to today's sponsor. Hit it, maestro. Dipsy is an app filled with hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed for women by women. Most of the innovation in female pleasure has been focused on the body and not the brain. Dipsy also has soothing sleep stories, wellness sessions, and sexy stories that you can read. Dipsy has stories for straight and queer listeners and is a great place to spice up your me time, relax and unwind, explore your fantasies, or enjoy with a partner or multiple partners. I love the sexy stories. There are so many talented and very, very hot characters to listen to. And I'm also a big fan of the sleep scenes and stories where you can enjoy your favorite characters in a slumber party setting to ease you to sleep. Furthermore, there's so much to learn from BDSM to love languages to even sexting. And for you all, Dipsy is offering a 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash Merle. So you literally have nothing to lose. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories.com slash Merle. I'm using some organic extra firm tofu. I'm doing that because I think the firmer the tofu is, the better the texture is gonna be for a pulled pork. We're gonna be going through a lot of different processes to like dehydrate this and then infuse it with flavor. And again, I'm excited that we're gonna be doing two different versions of this. Basically, the it doesn't taste like chicken version is kind of the quicker, simpler, straightforward version. And then sauce stash has this added step. It's a little elevated. So I'm gonna try both and see if the extra step really helps, if it's worth it. We're gonna slice open our tofu. We're gonna drain it. Oh, why didn't I slice it over the sink? Okay, what we're not gonna do is spill the tofu water. There's that slab of soy we know and love. Now you're gonna need to go and get yourself a cheese grater because we're gonna be grating this tofu. And the it doesn't taste like chicken recipe, she said you don't actually even have to like press it or do anything to remove the excess water like you might normally. We're just gonna go ahead and grate it because when we bake it in the oven, it's gonna dehydrate it and pull out the moisture. Whoa! It makes a squelching noise. I wanna see if you can hear it. It's like what I imagine shape of water ASMR would be like. And if it's like falling apart and crumbling in your hand, that's really okay because we're gonna, it's gonna be broken down into bits anyway. Be careful of your hands and your fingers. And so we're left with this. Whoa, wormies. I'm just gonna shred the rest of this up and then we're gonna mix together our marinade. You definitely wanna use extra firm tofu. Okay, so we're gonna move these alien noodles off to the side and we're gonna mix together our marinade. I always clean my kitchen like right before I shoot a video, but why? Because then I just have to clean it all over again. Okay, so for the marinade, we're gonna add a tablespoon of canola oil, a tablespoon of soy sauce, two teaspoons of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then we're gonna mix that up, add our tofu in there, and mix that all up so that it's evenly covered. Just do this nice and gentle so you don't break all the little pieces up. Okay, so now we've got our mixed up tofu shreds and they're mixed up in the marinade. I'm gonna go ahead and put those onto this sheet. I'm gonna try to spread them out reasonably enough. They're pretty fragile, so I don't wanna like break them. Now, let me just spread these out so that they can, you know, not be all crammed up together and so they can like properly dehydrate in the oven. And I've got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. That's 180 degrees Celsius. Now we're gonna pop these in the oven 
and we're going to let them bake for about 28 to 30 minutes. And we're going to just go ahead and get in there with a spatula and flippy floppy them around at about the halfway point so they get evenly cooked. Okay, so the It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken barbecue tofu is ready to take out of the oven. Ooh, it looks so tasty. It's funny how like an entire block of tofu can be reduced to like what looks like so little. I'm going to now get a quarter of a cup of water and a quarter of a cup of barbecue sauce and I'm gonna mix those together in a pan and I'm going to rehydrate our tofu in there, let them absorb the barbecue sauce and the flavor. We dehydrated it so that it could shed the excess tofu water, but now we're gonna rehydrate it with something really flavorful and delicious and so it can be kind of moist. I'm not gonna lie, on the website, it said to bake it at 350 for 28 to 30 minutes. I went on for almost 40 minutes because I like I would like mine a little bit crispier. So you can do whatever you want, whichever kind of strikes your fancy. I've got the, it doesn't taste like chicken, barbecue tofu here, and it looks yummy, it looks tasty. I can't say it looks exactly like pork, but that's okay. We're gonna set this aside and we're gonna make sauce stashes. Now we're going to do marks from sauce stash and we're going to start off with a straight up block of tofu, extra firm or firm if you don't have extra firm. And we're gonna slice it into four planks. Okay, well, these aren't the prettiest. Oh, wow, I did a terrible job. Okay, I did a horrible job cutting these, but who cares? It doesn't matter, it's fine. It's all gonna get chopped up eventually anyway. So we're gonna take these four planks and we're going to actually boil them in a salt, sort of like salt bath. And this salt bath includes four cups of water, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of liquid smoke, one tablespoon of sesame oil, and then a tablespoon of like Marmite or Vegemite, or if you don't have one of those like extracted yeasts, you can use like a miso. And we're gonna put that all in our boiling water, and then we're gonna add our tofu inside. And we're gonna let that boil for about 20 minutes. And what this is gonna do is it should sort of help the texture of the tofu become firmer, and it should also obviously infuse some of that flavor into the tofu. And I know, you might be thinking like, weird, Marmite, Vegemite, what the heck, like what? But it should add sort of like a tangy, sort of fermented umami flavor into the tofu. But again, if you don't have that, you can use miso, it's not the end of the world. Make sure to hold on to your salt bath water because we're gonna be using that again in a little bit. Our tofu from the salt bath is here. I have to say, it kind of looks like it's like totally falling apart. And I know that the point of the salt bath is to like make it firmer, so I don't really know what that's about. I have a feeling that once we dehydrate it in the oven, it'll toughen up no problem. I'm not worried. Mark knows what he's talking about. If you want to right now, you can go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 180 degrees Celsius. And then we're gonna go ahead and chop these up and kind of like, you know, just cut them up, slice them up into little pulled pork pieces. Oh, that is hot. Woo! All right, I'm gonna kind of try to stack these up a bit so we can kind of slice them all together. Oh, be careful with your precious little fingers. Maybe let it cool off a bit beforehand, okay? Look at that big old gelatinous pile of moist, soaked tofu. Come on, that's kind of fun. Okay, so now we just slice it up into smaller bits. It's all gonna get dehydrated anyway, so no worries. What do we say here? Perfection is overrated. And also, perfection does not exist. It's getting deep. You know, nothing, it's something about soy, it just, it just taps into my, my subconscious and brings all my existential thoughts to the forefront. All right, so we got this like sliced up, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix together a dry rub for this. Okay, so for the dry rub, we're gonna mix together a tablespoon of brown sugar, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of chili powder, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. Then we just mix all that up. So we've got our slabby boys over here. We're gonna transfer these, I'm using a crummer. Transfer this over to some parchment paper in a baking sheet like we did before. You may notice these are like chunkier bits than the other ones. So that should be interesting. You can already see the tofu looks more porous. I'm going to spread it out once again so they have the best chance of evenly dehydrating. And then what Sauce Stash did was to just baste it with some of the leftover soaked water. Okay, so let's get that juice on there. Pat, pat, pat. And you know, since it's gonna be dehydrating, having this extra moisture will probably absorb the flavor right into our tofu like a sponge. It'll also help to hold the dry rub on there better. Whoa! Oh my God. The water on my cutting board just 
fought me tooth and nail for that pot. Damn, my life just flashed before my eyes. Okay, so now we're gonna take a quarter of a cup of that water I was just using to base this, and we're gonna add that to a tablespoon of mustard. And Sauce Stash was saying this adds a nice flavor punch. We're gonna mix it together. As you can see, there's some, you know, more steps to this recipe, but man oh man, does Mark think things out. Now we're gonna take our mustard mix and we're gonna baste, once again, we're gonna baste our tofu. Ooh, I'm secretly making cookies right now while I'm preheating the oven. Not to rub it in or anything. Speaking of rubs, now we're going to sprinkle our dry rub over the top of our pulled pork. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of mix this all together so that we make sure that all of our little bits here are evenly coated. Hi, TT. she's just staring at me. Come here, big lady, yes. Oh, we love you, TT. We love you, TT. Okay, so now it's time for us to go ahead and put these in the oven and we're gonna put them in there for around 25 minutes. And once again, the oven is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 180 degrees Celsius. Oh yeah! We got cookies. In they go. I'll see you guys in 25 minutes. Read a chapter of your favorite book or like play a game of Fortnite or I don't know, call your mom. It's a lot you can do in 25 minutes. Pay no mind to the cute little camera guy back there. There's not like a person, I meant like the camera itself. Whatever, okay, so now our tofu is looking good. I gotta say the bigger slices, it looks really good. It looks crispy. So we're gonna take that right out and we're going to rehydrate it similarly the way we did for the first recipe. And for sauce stash, we're gonna add in some water, some ketchup and some barbecue sauce. He said you could add in some maple syrup if you want. I'm not gonna do that because this barbecue sauce is sweet enough as it is for me. And then it's gonna be time for us to go ahead and try our sandwiches. First up here, we've got the It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken pulled pork tofu. This was the simpler of the two recipes. Obviously it's vegan coleslaw. You can get some of that on your own or you can mix up your own. I'll put the recipe for the coleslaw in the description. Here it is. I guess I'll try a little bit of the pulled pork by itself first. The pulled pork itself is good. The texture isn't totally reminiscent of pulled pork. The flavor's good because it's barbecue sauce and like what isn't good about barbecue sauce? I still think it's very clear that it's tofu and not a meat substitute. In the meantime, I'm gonna try this on the sandwich, the whole package. Yeah, that's good. I think when you have it in the sandwich with the coleslaw, and the toasted buns, it just kind of like carries the marinade really nicely. Overall, I think it'll do in a pinch. It, it still tastes really tasty. I don't think it would fool anyone. Now, I'm gonna try sauce stashes. Yum, that is really, really good. Let me take a, let me take a bite of this. I think the boiling actually really did help with the texture. It's not firm like pork would be, but the process of like boiling it and letting it absorb all those flavors, this is delicious. Texture wise, tofu isn't quite there. Maybe if you didn't rehydrate it or if you like somehow found the firmest tofu in the world. I mean, they're both really good. For the everyday, you're coming home from work, it's late, you wanna toss something together quickly. It doesn't taste like chickens. Pulled pork is probably the way to go because it's quicker. But if you got a little time, and you're ready to entertain, try sauce stashes. Both of these are very, very, very good. In the meantime, maybe in the future I can make my own. Let me know if you'd like me to do that and let me know what other recipes you'd like me to try, whose recipes you'd like me to try. Until next time, if you wanna hang out with me between videos, I have a Discord. All the links to my socials are in the description. I'm on my Discord almost every day. I do live streams on Twitch if you wanna hang out, watch me play some games. And if you haven't already and you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm here for you every Tuesday. And until then, I guess I will bid you adieu. Ciao for now, guys.